Hey everybody, Luke Gordon here, and today's topic is uh, inspired by a, a young woman I was working with earlier this week in the clinic, and she asked me the question, how come I'm only having pain relief for three days, and then essentially why does my pain keep coming back after three days? And so uh, I'm going to give you her scenario in a little bit here and just tell you what her situation is. And then there's two main points I want to make with that because it brings up a couple good things that I think will really help people, uh, hopefully like you, understand what it all means when you're looking for long-lasting pain relief. So that's, of course, what a lot of our clients are looking for. They're not looking for a temporary pain relief. They're looking for long-term pain relief. And in essence, they're really not even looking for pain relief. They want long-term pain relief in order to return to other things that the pain is stopping them from doing, like activities they enjoy, like sports, like hobbies, anything like that. So uh, let me just give you her situation, and then I'll make those two key points, and hopefully that will resonate with you on some level. So this is a younger woman, um, and she has an interesting history because she's had basically a severe scoliosis and her back is fused. And then for several years after the surgery, which is obviously a very invasive surgery, she just hasn't done much. Um, she's got really poor um, flexibility like in her shoulders. She can hardly lift her arms, like she can't lift her arms above like that high. And then she has a lot of soft tissue pain throughout her upper back, all of these shoulder blade muscles like your upper traps and your levators and you know the scalenes here. And then um, the other thing that she really has is she has chronic headaches. And so if you go up into like the base of her skull and we've got your suboccipital muscles up there, she's got really a lot of tenderness, a lot of pain, and it leads to headaches. So the other day I'm working on her and um, I believe it was a Monday, yeah, and so I had worked with her on Thursday and she said, wow, Thursday was great, I felt awesome, um, but then I came back Monday, that might not be three days, but you get, the, you get the idea. So she comes back Monday for her next treatment and she says, well, yeah, but now it's back today. She's like, why is this only lasting three days? Like it's really frustrating to only last three days. Now bear in mind, I've only started working on this um, with this younger woman for probably uh, she's been coming into the clinic for about three weeks, and I was actually just helping her as kind of a fill-in therapist when someone else was out. So anyways, um, the surgery happened a long time ago. It's been several years since then, and then she's had these chronic pain for a long time, and so uh, getting three days of pain relief is kind of where she's at right now. So the first point that I want to make um, is that a lot of people from a different viewpoint would be extremely happy with three days of pain relief, extremely happy. Um, so it's all perspective, right? So if you're watching the video and you say, well, gosh, I've had pain like this young woman for uh, in my neck and my shoulders or my low back and my hips and knees for, for several years, just like she has, um, I would kill for three days of pain relief. I mean, geez, if you could do a PT treatment on me and offer three days of pain relief, I mean, I'll do the math and I'll come in two to three days a week the rest of my life. Um, so I think maybe just, just the fact that she's a little bit younger and doesn't have that perspective. But a lot of our older clients, if you could just tell them right off the bat that within three weeks of working with us, you're going to have three days of solid pain relief, they would be ecstatic. So that's my first key point is that it's all perspective. Um, and certainly a lot of people out there would really enjoy three days worth of pain relief. So I didn't tell her that. But what I did tell her was the second key point. And I said, you know, longer term, obviously we are looking for longer lasting, if possible, permanent pain relief, which I think it is possible for her. We've got a long ways to go given the severity of her underlying condition and given the fact that she really hasn't done anything. Her muscles are weak, um, they're painful, they're sore, she can hardly move her arms, she's very inactive. These things, we have to make improvements and that's going to take time. But essentially what I refocus her to is what I talk a lot about um, on my videos here or in my other blogs and articles and things like that, is that really um, temporary pain relief is a really good place to where we're starting at and I usually explain this by using the three phases of healing. I didn't bring my little chart this time, although I've used it in other videos if you've ever seen that one. But the three phases of healing basically say you've got phase one, which is when we're focusing on reducing your pain, pain relief, and reducing your inflammation. Now, before we can get to phase two, which is more along the lines of like exercises, strengthening, and stretches, we've got to have a really solid footing in phase one. We've got to get you feeling really good. And then we can kind of start to overlap phase one and phase two. So as we're doing more of the hands-on techniques in phase one to make you feel good, now in phase two we're, we're doing more exercises. They're still gentle at this point to keep that pain relief uh, longer lasting, which ultimately then we're shifting completely towards phase two and phase three where we need to do more strengthening, more stretching. These are the things that are going to keep uh, those those gains that you've made in phase one with your pain relief, those are the ones that are going to keep them longer term. So that's what I reoriented her to. And I said, during phase one, 
Um, if you come in as a new client to the clinic and you are having chronic pain every day, all day, and with your first couple of treatments, we're able to get you like an hour or two of pain relief, that's awesome. That's exactly where we want to start because we know we're doing something right to put you in the direction that we're trying to go. Now, as you're coming in for more treatment and you're learning things and you're maybe changing a few things at home, you're working on your posture, whatever it is you're working on, um, now we're starting to see that hour or two of pain relief is now stretching into three hours, four hours, maybe the entire afternoon. Maybe that was the first time you slept really well in years. Um, we're seeing these, all these positive indicators. So it's just getting, again, we're moving in the right direction. We have this roadmap, the three phases of healing. That's the roadmap. That's where we're trying to go. Now, that being said, there's going to be some ups and downs. It's not going to be a linear progression because that's just not really how life works. But that's what we're going to see overall. That's the trend. We're trending that direction. And so for her now, we're already at the point, like I said, probably within three weeks where she's getting three days worth of pain relief. I'm ecstatic, but I can't assume that she sees it the same way. And that's things that, you know, as a, as a therapist, we have to learn that. Um, what are the patient really, what are they seeing? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? So for her, that's all I had to do, reorient you, say, look, here's where you started. Look what we've done so far. We're at three days. Uh, the next step is we're pushing towards four days, five days, a whole week. Uh, the next step is that you're, you're not going to have this headache when you sleep and all these things. Um, so it was a really good reminder for me is that um, a lot of people think this way. and You, you can never tell that um, as a therapist, I can never assume that my clients know what I know or have the perspective that I have because I've worked with thousands of clients in pain over the last you know, 13 years. And so I have this wider perspective. And again, like I mentioned uh, in that first point, I have a lot of clients who don't make gains nearly that quickly, especially if they're a little older, and especially if they've had a couple surgeries, and especially if they've um, they've dealt with this for a long time, you know, and they're just not healing as quickly as she is. So, anyways, um, I hope those two points kind of in the story today kind of helps put things in perspective. If you are dealing with long-standing pain, that's the viewpoint that I would take. The first thing you want to do is just what kind of pain relief can you get, even if it's temporary. You know, nobody wants temporary pain relief in the long run, and I get that but it's the only place you can start, especially if you've had pain for a long time. So don't throw it out the window, don't get too frustrated. All you're looking to do is build off the temporary pain relief and again, take it from one hour to two, from two to four, four to eight, you know, one day to two days and just keep going and keep going and then you can advance through those three phases of healing and ultimately get to the point where you have control of keeping that pain at bay. And that's where we all like to be. So I hope the story helps you uh, understand some things today. And I'll, uh, obviously, if you have questions, leave it below the video or uh, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to talk to you. So that's it for now. And thank you for watching.